So this woman reached out to me and she dropped a message in my inbox. Um, so just so you guys know, I am Bourbon Bougie on Reddit and I'm on Instagram. I'm all over the place. People can find me wherever. She says, hello, I've been watching your videos every day for months. I love the community and safe space you have created. I wanted to share some stories about my PP bro father, if that's all right with you. I'm like, yep, share away. Thank you for the support, y'all. I absolutely love these PP bro story times. <laughs> so there was a, a gap of time when she first messaged me to when she started typing the story. So she, this is what she says. Sorry, it took me so long to respond. I was a little apprehensive about sharing my story and I had a business trip, but I realized this should be shared because I think it offers an inside look on why so many Gen Z women are foregoing relationships. As I mentioned before, my father is a PP bro in Celosaurus. What I didn't mention is my grandpa is a George. She is obviously watching all of my videos. And if you guys are not familiar with who George is, George is an inept adult that didn't know how to do basics like cooking and cleaning for himself. And after his wife left him, he was just flailing and failing at life. So that's who George is if you haven't seen my Chronicles of George videos. Okay, so her grandfather is a George which is where my father gets his misogyny from. My father has been an incel longer than I've been alive. I'm 26. And he started turning into a PP bro when I was about seven. I remember going to the family computer and finding Russian bride catalogs and boxes upon boxes of corn. He had so many boxes, he filled one, a one car garage with it. The thing that sticks with me the most about this is realizing how pathetic my father was. I still love my father, but I think him finding a bride, I think finding the bride catalogs when I was eight changed the way I viewed him. Even that young, I knew this was, predat was predatory behavior towards women. And in that mom moment, I lost respect for him as a person. After years of watching my George grandfather treat my grandmother like crap, and attempting to read the Bible at seven, I learned that women were second-class citizens. So coming across these sad catalogs made me put two and two together. And I realized he was just as crap as a lot of other men. Children are a lot smarter than we give them credit for. Us Gen Z women have spent our entire lives watching boomers, Gen X, and older millennials suffer under patriarchy. And a lot of us are beyond tired of it. As a result, I have been a raging feminist since I was a child. I also have quite a few videos where I speak about how women become feminists basically watching the men and the relationships in their lives. So I did a follow-up. I'm like, hey, you there? Just wondering if your dad got him a foreign wife. And she says, actually, he's he's been trying for years. He recently found a Filipino woman to latch on, um, latch himself onto. My father likes to use me for emotional labor, so I get to hear him vent about all his dates because the late because the lady he's dating is fifty three. She has low enough self esteem to stay with him. As my father put it, the young ones ask for money in exchange for being a trad wife. She's a nurse with her own money and assets because she's willing to settle for him because she still believes that women lose value as we age. So I think she's just happy to have someone interested in her. What's even better is that he called me up angry one day, telling me he broke up with her because she lied about her age and, um, and, she, and she was seven years older than she had originally said. I wasn't surprised because every woman he's dated believes that women lose value if they age or have multiple partners. And I have watched every single one of them slowly kill themselves because subscribing to those ideas as, um, as a woman means you contain a lot of self-hate. This self-hate has eventually led to all of his long-term girlfriends, he avoids marriage, to self-harm with alcohol. So when he called, I laughed and told him he got exactly what he wanted. I said, you can't be mad she's insecure about her age if you believe women lose value as they age. He didn't answer me, but they did end up reconciling. The cherry on top is that he openly went on dates with other women and was flabbergasted she was insecure. He likes to use that as a test. And so getting with women 
who are insecure will only, I, I don't know, this just makes sense. They are getting what they are looking for. I don't get it. So, and for a few more details, she let me know that her dad is black and he has a lot of massage noir as a result. I'm half white. So I'm mixed and from the South. On another note though, I wanted to say thank you. I have really been taking your advice about pour into those who pour into you to heart. It has made me start paying attention to the old ladies I help in my spare time and how they rely and interact with each other. You are right, women are much better at building communities even in the rural area I live. It's amazing to see them share resources, meat and eggs and time together. When one of them gets sick, they take shifts bringing food and cleaning for each other. Okay, now I want to go back up to this because this woman who is um, inboxing me is mixed. And what I am seeing on social media is that these um, biracial women or biracial people who have black dads and white moms are saying similar things. The fact that she is watching me and embodying what I'm saying and able to connect everything and then see things from my perspective and seeing these things in her perspective is telling. It, these stories are reaching folks and I'm amazed about it. And I shouldn't be because, you know, I'm speaking every single day. But these people, the kids, the kids of these relationships will tell the story. The kids of these relationships, they, they're unhealthy. When you have a lot of self-hate and you continue to, instead of unpacking that with therapy, you're going to other women of other um, other races or ethnicities or whatever, you're, just, you're still taking yourself along the way. You're still, massage noir is hate directed towards black women, but it still begins with self-hate first. And so these dudes are poisoning their own children Think about how her the daughter is talking about the dad and the granddad. They have, um, so the kids can see it. And now that we have social media, the kids are able to tell the story. The kids are a living reflection of the pairings of these damaged people. I, I so appreciate this woman for taking the time to give me this story because as we sit up and watch this shift happening in real time, we're able to see how the patriarchy is crumbling, how many of these isms are showing themselves, and how many of our stories have this layering effect and how it's impacting so many different parts of our lives all at one time. Anyways, if you guys have a story time, like I said, I am verb and bougie most places. Um, you can inbox me and I do try to get to as many of my inboxes as possible. Um, so go ahead, drop me a story time, drop the comments. Let's have this conversation. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.